Hello Year 7s. This is a bit of a time, isn't it, eh? I mean, last year in primary school, you were top dogs, whereas now in high school, little puppies. <laughs> big kids seem really big, don't they, yeah? Well, that'll soon pass. A couple of weeks from now, you'll be walking around like you own the place. However, you know what? You've got big brains and you've got big hearts. You as a generation of teenagers that are now in high school, you could change everything, but only if you take the right action. Let me give you an example of how important making the right decisions is. I have a friend called Nigel Vardy. He's a mountaineer. And sadly, a few years ago, he won a world record. I say sadly because it wasn't a good world record. It was the highest recorded airlift off a mountain. Let me explain. Nigel and his friends were climbing this mountain called Mount McKinley in Alaska when, I joke, he fell off. He didn't fall off the mountain, but the the weather changed like that and he ended up sheltering in a crevasse, freezing cold. The weather too extreme to even get a radio signal despite recent uh, fre frequent requests for help. He couldn't hear anything, so he had no idea if the message had got through to base camp that they were in trouble. Three of the party got frostbite and one of them was injured and they were in an awful lot of peril. They were dying. Eventually, they did get an airlift off the mountain when the weather changed. The message did get through. Otherwise, they'd have been dead. When recovering in hospital, my friend Nigel, he recovering from frostbite, he lost his cheeks, his nose, his chin, uh, most of his fingers, most of his toes and a few of the bits. And he was told he'll never walk again. Could you imagine being told you're never going to walk again? If you're a gamer, it would be like breaking your thumbs and being told you'll never be able to play again. You know, he, he was like, huh? He asked for some climbing rope. His parents went, what? He went, I want some rope. And whilst he was in hospital, whilst he was recovering from frostbite and losing his fingers, he learned how to tie knots with the stumps of his hands. And then he went on to be the first Briton and the first disabled person to climb the seven highest mountains on the seven islands of the world. Wow! And to this day, still an explorer going off to crazy places doing crazy things. Why? Because he kept making decisions. In another video, I told you about Nigel where I say... In, sorry, in a later video. In a later video, you might hear me talk about Nigel when he says, when you're on a mountain, you've got to keep making decisions as soon as you stop making decisions you're going to die on a mountain so in year seven keep making decisions be that big brain and big heart be courageous step up have a go do not let situations and other people define who you are and what you're capable of push to learn and decide what you want and go for it can't wait to see you in another video Go Rhino Year 7. Go Rhino. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos. Then click the TV to watch the next video. Oh, and don't forget to visit our website at davidheiner.com to claim your free audiobook. Until the next time, go Rhino. Have in it.